Let's take a moment to imagine. That bundle of joy you once held in your arms has now grown to be a young adult. What traits would you like to see in them? Happy, healthy, and successful? These are the most common hopes every parent has for their child. Many of us adopt different parenting styles in hope to achieve this same outcome. But not all strategies are created equal. In fact, there are some strategies that will not lead us to that goal, and yet many of us might unknowingly be doing these things. Meanwhile, there are some strategies that are absolutely vital towards raising happy, healthy, successful kids that we might be missing out on. In this video, we'll explore 7 pitfalls and 10 absolute must-have strategies when it comes to raising kids. Before we dive into this topic, do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more parenting videos like this. First of all, let's talk about the pitfalls. Who knew there were even pitfalls when raising kids? The Cambridge Dictionary describes the word pitfall as a likely mistake or problem in a situation, and a problem used especially about problems that may happen in the future. This shows that if we don't take note of these now and make changes, it can affect the way our kids grow up and the type of adults they become. Here are seven pitfalls we should take note of. Number one, shielding the child from responsibility. She's too young. It's faster to do it myself. He'll learn when he grows up. Have you ever found yourself feeding these thoughts? Whether they come out of your love for your child or for your own convenience, these thinking patterns will hinder your child from taking responsibility. Your child will never get the chance to learn how to become a responsible adult. Number two, preventing them from making mistakes. It is never easy for any parent to sit back and watch their child make mistakes. From making sure their shoes are on the right side, to later when the child has to make more important decisions in life, parents have the tendency to provide as much support as they can to try and prevent their child from making mistakes. But making mistakes and learning to bounce back from them is just part and parcel of our journey towards success. That's why the Chinese saying goes, failure is the mother of success. Making mistakes allows the child an opportunity to do some self-reflection and to learn to improve and do better. It does hurt a little, but your child will come out stronger. Number 3. Suppressing their emotions You're fine. It's just a small matter. Stop crying. Are these your responses to your child's big feelings? In our attempts to comfort our child, we often find ourselves focusing on the outcome rather than the process. When strong emotions get shown in a big way, our ultimate goal is to put a stop to the strong emotions. But the process is actually what's more important if you want your child to become emotionally strong. Talking about feelings, recognizing them, allowing them to express their feelings, talking about the triggers and the coping strategies are some of the practices to help our children in regulating their own emotions. Number 4. Making the child believe they have no control over their situation. Did your parents ever tell you that life is never fair and you just have to live within your means? Instead of dreaming of a trip to Disneyland, your parents may have asked you to be grateful with what you have. Now, don't get me wrong, gratitude is always a good practice, but that doesn't mean that we have to settle for less. You've probably heard this quote before, life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. Empowering children to take charge of their lives is always better than telling them there's nothing they can do about their situation. Number 5. Being overprotective It's a parent's nature to have the desire to protect their little ones from any harm. But we may go a little too far when we are shielding our children from every single negativity they might face in their daily lives. Let's face it, life is never smooth sailing. Allowing your child to face challenges and adversities will only help your child to become a resilient adult. Number 6. Expecting perfection from the child As adults, we are conditioned to put our best foot forward in everything we do. 
and we tend to have the same expectations of our children. But do you find it challenging to tolerate any flaws in your child? Do you find it difficult that they are not doing things your way? Do you end up criticizing them more than giving them praises? If so, you might want to start asking yourself whether your pursuit of excellence has turned into perfectionism. Expecting perfection from a child is detrimental to their mental health. Instead of thinking how to become better, they constantly focus on themselves being a failure. Children are in the process of being, learning and becoming, setting achievable goals and encouraging them along the way and focusing on the process rather than the outcome will be a healthier practice in helping them to become successful adults. Number 7. Punishing rather than disciplining your children. What do you do when your child misbehaves? See, there's a difference between punishment and discipline. While punishment focuses on having the child suffer from their misbehavior, discipline involves getting a child to think of the consequences of their actions, empowering them to make better choices in future. Children who constantly receive punishment don't think of ways to make better choices, they just think that they are bad people. Instead of punishing, try setting clear rules, reinforcing good behaviors and redirecting them from misbehaviors to help them make better choices in future. Now that you know what to avoid, be sure to stay with us till the end to find out how to prepare your child to be a well-rounded adult. These next 10 strategies that we're about to share will definitely start your child on their path towards becoming happy, healthy and successful. Number 1. Teach them honesty. Honesty is crucial in building strong and trusting relationships, and it is best nurtured from young. We all want to be known as people who are trustworthy, and we all know how one single lie can lead to distrust and broken relationships. To instill honesty in our children, we therefore have to model truthfulness ourselves. Tell the hard truths. Forgive our children for the mistakes they've owned up to and reward their truthfulness wherever possible. But if you ever find your child lying, try not to overreact. It is a great opportunity for you to talk about the consequences of dishonesty and to impart the value of honesty to them. Number 2. Instill good manners. Good manners, in other words grace and courtesy, come from our awareness of the feelings of others. People with good manners appear to be more confident, maintain more fulfilling relationships, prosper at work, and enjoy happier and healthier lives. Parents are the child's first teacher, so you should always start with yourself. One of the simplest ways to begin is to model the phrases please and thank you in your daily conversations with your child. Greetings, practicing table manners, holding the door open for others are some of the etiquettes we can practice with our children from a young age until it becomes an integral part of their lives. Number 3. Teach them healthy habits. One of the most important life lessons is teaching kids healthy habits. Everyone wants to be healthy, but not everyone can commit. Having said that, habits are things that we repeatedly do because they are a part of us. So it is again best to develop good habits from young. Good personal hygiene, good eating habits, and maintaining a regular exercise routine are some of the habits we can practice together as a family. You can teach your preschoolers to make conscious choices to eat healthy food and avoid junk food. When your child becomes more mature, you might want to teach your child about the dangers of tobacco and the adverse effects that alcohol and drug abuse can have on our bodies. Number 4. Teach them to show respect. Respect comes from a very simple notion that you treat others how you would like to be treated. Children need to learn that respect goes both ways. What you give, you get. It is always earned, not asked. So before asking for a child's respect, the first thing parents can do is to make your child feel respected. Making eye contact while listening attentively helps our little ones feel valued and respected. We want to teach our children self-respect, respect for others, respect for the elderly, and to respect any and all differences. 
This way, they will grow up to be adults who appreciate the values that each and every individual brings to the community. Number five, teach your children to handle failure materially. We know it well that life is full of ups and downs, so it is important to help our children handle setbacks in life. When our children experience failures and disappointments, empathizing with them and acknowledging their feelings will help move them past the negative emotions faster. Helping our children learn how to focus on what can be done better in the future rather than identifying themselves as a failure is an important part of their journey to developing emotional resilience. Other than that, Playing sports has also been found to be a great channel to build mental strength since it gives children opportunities to practice ways to overcome losses, disappointments and failures. Number 6. Teach them time management The president of the Research Institute of Learning and Development, Lynn Meltzer, states that teaching young children time management skills helps them internalize the skills from an early age and sets them up for lifelong success. Effective time management helps us increase our productivity, experience less stress, and make better decisions. We can always start from developing a routine for our young children for them to get a sense of order and predictability. For example, creating a schedule in picture form gives them visual aids to understand what routine comes after one another. As they grow, we can introduce the strategies to set goals, plan, organize, and set priorities to help them master their time management skills. Number 7. Give your children responsibilities. Developing a sense of responsibility is similar to building muscles. The more you practice, the more it grows. Involving our little ones in age-appropriate chores helps them to develop a sense of responsibility. Putting toys away and cleaning up is always a good place to start. The sense of achievement that they are capable of taking care of themselves and contributing to the family is what it takes to foster a sense of responsibility in children. Number 8. Teach your children to be bold and fearless. Being bold doesn't come without the presence of fear. Boldness is showing the confidence and courage to push through our fears. It includes being completely truthful to yourself, expressing yourself authentically, or saying no to others, not minding what others may think about you. It includes the awareness of our own set of strengths and weaknesses and having the confidence to move beyond them. It gives us the courage to step out of our comfort zones even when we don't feel completely ready for new challenges. Providing a safe environment for risk-taking encourages children to be bold and courageous. Encouraging children to push beyond their own limitations can also help promote boldness in them. Number 9. Foster a love of learning. Exposing your children to different experiences, sparking their curiosity and interest, can help to develop the joy of learning in a child. Supporting your child in pursuing their interests helps them learn better too. You may also want to introduce different learning styles and identify your child's preferred learning styles. If they have challenges, providing much-needed support and discussing these challenges with your child will help them to develop a growth mindset and to discover learning opportunities instead of failure. By modeling a passion to learn, you will also set a good example for them that learning is a lifelong journey and no one is ever too old to learn. Number 10. Teach them good money habits. Money is used as the medium of transaction in our daily lives, hence it is important for parents to teach their children about the value of money and to develop good habits in money management. You can start by showing your child how money works, count with them, play money games with them, and involve them whenever you're making purchases at stores. Teach them the importance of saving and help them to get into the habit of saving themselves. Give them opportunities to earn money at home and help them make wise choices in how they spend the money that they've earned. It's also good to teach them the value of giving instead of just having. These are some of the strategies you can adopt to help your children become successful in their financial management later in life. With this, we hope that you've picked up some pointers on how to prepare your child for what their future will unfold.
If you feel that this video has helped you in one way or another, be sure to share it so fellow parents can also get to learn the 7 pitfalls and the 10 must-teach strategies to raising happy, healthy and successful kids. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel because we will be launching new informative parenting videos every week. See you in the next video!